Two members of a band nearly lost their lives after trying to break up a fight inside the Cobra Bar in East Nashville. After a night in the hospital, the band is back on the road playing a show in Alabama. News 2's Sarah Smith spoke with the lead singer about the attack. The band No Cure wraps up what they describe as a great show at Cobra Bar in Nashville. They were greeting fans when the night took a turn. I was very pleasantly surprised. I was having a great time. Nashville's close to home, so I had a lot of friends there, and it was, it was a great day, you know, until the stabbing. Lead singer Blaze Stewart says the man he's never seen before punches a friend. Blaze and bassist Jake Murnane tried to break up the fight. At some point, the guy just started, he pulled a knife. I never saw a knife. They started slashing, and now I have this on my leg. Very fun. The injuries worse than Blaith expected. I look down, I'm looking at my pants leg and like, oh, I'm like spurting now because like he kind of branched my femoral artery. So uh, it was like with every beat of my heart was like a little. An ambulance carts the bandmates off to the hospital. Jake cut across the chest. Both guys require staples and stitches. Not to be dramatic. But like without medical attention, if I was like somewhere remote, I would have probably died. Police say this is a suspect in the stabbing, James Smith. He allegedly ran across the street to Walgreens and ditched the knife. That's where officers arrested him. His kid like reached out to us uh, through Instagram saying like, I'm so sorry, that's my dad that got you guys. Uh, he's a bad guy. There's no slowing down for no cure. They have big plans for the rest of 2024. I do not get nervous. This is my life's work now. I love it. Blaith says the best way to help the band with their medical bills is to check out their shows. We went to the Cobra Bar to get a comment, but no one was available. Bob and Haley.